Imagine instead that a terrorist group has claimed that they will set off a bomb that will kill at least five people. You have a member of the group in custody, but he refuses to talk. Should you resort to torture if doing so will get you the information that will allow you to stop the attack? Why or why not? So this all goes back to the whole uh, Sam Harris in defense of torture thing, which I'm not sure if that's where you were pointing this from, but he's caught a lot of flack for that um, article that he wrote a few years back where he was kind of making this hypothetical or philosophical argument in defense of torture, you know, well, you know, if you were able to torture somebody and get the information, you could prevent, um, you know, thousands of innocent lives from being killed or whatnot, would you do it? And he, he made the argument for it. But he was also very um, open to the fact that he was willing to have his mind changed if somebody could present a, a good argument against it. Um, I disagree with him. I mean, as a hypothetical exercise, I mean, if you somehow could have the foreknowledge to know that you could get this information extracted from this person and save, you know, thousands of innocent lives. Of course, I don't think there's anybody out there that wouldn't do it. But again, it's a matter of practicality. I mean, we can have these hypothetical scenarios, but there's never going to be a case where you can know that information beforehand. You could only assume it or, you know, or think that it might work. But given what we know about torture, which is that, well, I mean, first of all, that it's just unethical, it's inhumane, and we shouldn't do that to anybody regardless. I mean, in the United States, we have laws against cruel and unusual punishment, um, So, and there's a reason for that. But, you know, we also know that um, more often than not, far more often than not, um, the information you get it, from coercion like that is, is just going to be whatever they want, um, whatever, you know, they think that their uh, torturers want them to hear. It's going to be bad information. They're just going to say anything to get it to stop. They may not even have the information that you want, and there's no way of knowing that they have it or not. So, you know, again, as a hypothetical, yeah, I think, of course, we would do whatever we could to save innocent lives, but that's just not a practical example. And so I'm unequivocally against torture in, in the real world.